next seasonings we're gonna need I put the basil paprika powder and Italian mix and oregano and thyme thing is already in a little bowl so use in your own mixture how you want it to be stronger or weak or just medium all right let's get started so for the chicken legs I already marinated with salt and pepper and blender it smoothly <laughs> garlic and ginger I just added a little water in the garlic and ginger and we just pour in all the herbs And mix it well <laughs> it's easier isn't it okay so I make the cut in there so all the herbs can absorb in and things okay so you can see the juice of the garlic and ginger margarine I just used two tablespoons you can use melted butter all right and then we mix it well Sprinkle some sliced onion on top just to give a sweetness, aroma, and taste. And then I'm gonna wrap it around. Okay, let's see what happened inside. Oh, lovely! So now I'm gonna put it back in the oven for about 30 minutes or so, just until the top of the chicken is lightly brown. Look at that! Finally, I baked it again for 30 minutes and 150 degrees. So let it slowly cook. So you can see the top is lightly brown and the gravy still stays. So you can eat it with your own favorite uh, carbs like potatoes, rice or noodles <laughs> or you just eat it with salad all up to you. I would love to have it plain like this and um, let's see how it tastes like. Ooh. So thank you so much for watching from the beginning till the end and make sure you try this delicious recipe at home because I promise you, you won't regret. So if you have a deal, please leave your comment below to let me know about the goodness of the taste. Thank you so much and see you next time soon.